Hello again and welcome to the second video tutorial on Interweb. In the last video I have introduced Interweb Framework and we have explored demo application. So in this video I'm going to show you full common features of this Interweb Framework. So let's get started. Interweb is a framework for web development in Delphi. Interweb allows the Delphi developers to create applications in a true red manner by dragging and dropping components on an Interweb form or IW form. Interweb is designed to build any sort of web application, whether it's a simple data entry form, a poll, or a complex application, where clients have to be logged in for an extended period of time. Interweb generates all the HTML, JavaScript, CSS outputs, and it enables you to extend your applications implementing custom client-side features or using third-party JavaScript libraries. Interweb works much like a normal executable application, with the exception that the user interface is a web browser instead of the window. The Server Controller The Server Controller unit is where you can control general aspects of your web application. For instance, if you want to use compression or the templates folder, our application reacts if your user is using an unsupported browser. So, the server controller is also responsible for creating user session instances through the on new session events, which is triggered when a new user connects to your web application. So, in general, you don't need to add code to the server controller. But if you need custom control of a specific aspect of your application, a good reason for customizing the server control is preparing your application to support search engines. And how we can access the server controller? The easiest way to access the server controller is by using a function available in the server controller unit. You need to include the unit server controller in the users clause of the unit you want to access the server controller instance. The session. From interweb version 14, user session also contains web application property. You must check this property for nil value before using it. Interweb web application types. When we talk about the interweb application types, we are basically talking about deployments. For example, how you can install your interweb application to be available to your users. Otherwise, all the interweb application types are the same. Currently, interweb has few types of the applications. For example, standalone server type, ISAPI type, and SA server. The SA server is a web application that includes an embedded web server, the interweb core code, and your code. The main goal of the SA server is to allow the developers easily deploy the application without all the issues of installing and configuring a web server like IAS or Apache. As the SA server includes its own web server, it is an indie-based web server. When you execute the SA server, you see a small UI, which can be used by the developer for debugging or testing purposes. A standalone server is good for your debugging and developing the application. The IS API type is a DLL format designed to be executed on Windows-based web servers like IAS and Apache. The Interweb IS API DLL is a web application that includes IS API supporting code, the Interweb core code, and your code. For an IS API DLL, you need to set up IAS or Apache to host your application. The main advantage of the IS API deployment is that you don't need to worry about which port your application will be listening to. As you are running under IAS, all the connections are made on port 18, and IAS can host multiple IS API DLLs. So let's understand the basic process of the user interaction with the interweb application. Your interweb application is running on your server. It can be IS API DLL or a SA server. Your server must have an IP which is accessible by your user through your network or the internet. You can also have a domain name that translates or points to your server. The user types the IP address or port of your web application on the browser, or simply the URL of your website. The interweb application receives the request, processes it, renders the interweb form, and sends it back to browser. That tells the browser how to render your interweb form. The browser receives the data package, decodes it, and renders the interweb form to the user. Then the user interacts with the page just rendered for him and clicks on button or other controls. For example, 
browser sends the button click information to the interweb application running in your server and the process repeated again. So it's time to demo. So now we can start by creating a new project. I select Stealthy Projects and Interweb. This is Interweb Application Wither. And we can select OK. We can name this project Demo IB Guessing Game. Now I'm going to make a guessing game on the Interweb Web Framework. So I select this as a null application type. So click the OK button. And we have to confirm it. Yes, this is the main program. This is the user session. And this is our UI. On the interweb, we can only drag and drop our interweb components. It's interweb standard, interweb control, interweb data, and interweb authentication. So I select this interweb standard and uh, one button, another button, and edit IW memo. This one and IW label. So now we can design this application. So guess the number. And we can expand this font, bigger size, and edit here. Delete at text button one and the memo. This. So we can rename it to check and start a new game. Okay. Now we can select this interweb form and uh, we have to create on create event and uh, we have to enable randomizing and I'm going to Declare two variables, global variables, it's x and y, integer, i equals 0, it's the initialization part, and x equals random range, it's 100. Okay, now we can create on click event, and I copy and paste the code here. Y equals interweb edit text str to int and this one and found it message. And we can create on a new unclick event on a start a new game button. This one I'm paste code and again it's generating a random number and the application the show message the new game is started and we have to clear the memo. So this design button and now we can save and run this application. So here is the executable file and we can click this Google Chrome and here is our guessing number game. So we can type the 15 check and this is the less than the x and 80. The guessed number is 17 and you found it. And we can uh, start a new game by clicking this button. The new game is started. OK. And we can play it again. So that's it. In the next video tutorial, we will learn UniGUI web framework in Delphi.